Hey, how goes it? We're gonna work on this room now. Um, at the end of the last episode, the idea passed through my head to stick a Zeke in here. It sounds like a pretty good idea to me. I'm gonna put him right here. Now, what is he? He's a triple shot Zeke. That is fine by me. Uh, let's put some other stuff in here. Um, I want melee units, mainly, that are going to go and flush you out. Maybe things that don't seem super strong, but squidlies might be a good choice. Uh, the other options would be maybe a hunger bot to move you out of cover. Uh, stairmasters are an option. I could put a stairmaster here, and when it shoots at you, it's going to flush you out of your cover no matter what, pretty much. Um, I wonder if there's a optimal way to do this. We got two more. Because we have a lot of room back here. And I'd like to put mobs here. We might have to move some stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to move some stuff. Alright, let's try this. We can still get the same pool if we put this here, and this here, or even tuck them further over. Actually, I want that guy going in sooner. That's good. We will rotate you and rotate you. So that helps with our space a little bit. Um, we're gonna put this guy... I can get him closer to that, no, stay there. Closer to that corner, that's better. Make that guy mandatory, you have to fight him. Uh, and then put something across this way, to pull things from behind. Uh, maybe a bunch of low-level mobs, which, that actually could work very well. Uh, we're gonna put something like this. You can go there. You can go here. Oh, we're touching something we shouldn't be. Yeah, this is touching a little. Ah, uh, okay. We're gonna have to try and move him over one square and see if... Alright, we'll f play around with this. Okay, you can go over here for now. No? There. You can come out and over, and that is still covering that corner, and that is covering there. Nice. Uh, and we might be able to adjust this even more. Now I don't know how far the leash on these guys goes. But ideally, I would like for this guy to maybe even skip that. I don't know if there's a way to do this. Now nah, we'll just put a bunch of derps back here. We're going to need more derps. All the derps. They're probably going to be thinking, what the fuck are you doing? But I'm okay with that. Um, so we have 15 derps back here, who, if triggered properly, will come up behind them. This is all a, a pretty big long shot, but if triggered properly, we'll do that. It is also keeping people out of some corners, which is this corner and this corner. Uh, I doubt you'd want to run up to that. Um, these guys are going to be in this corner. Basically, you're going to have to stay in this corner, which means we just need a trap in this corner, and we're pretty much okay. Um, let's see, what kind of trap do we want to put? Can I tuck you right here? Will you hit everything? Can I just scoot you around a little bit? Nah, that's good. 
So that should help keep people out of this corner. This corner is going to be occupied. Um, this corner has 15 derps in it. The thing is, they might go over here and just hit all these with an AoE. That would suck. Um, but, I mean, yeah, what are you going to do? You know what I could do? I could surround a Mega Mutton with those. Have a Mega Mutton come up behind them no matter what. You know what? That sounds like a dick move. Let's do that. How big is a Mega Mutton? Six big? Whoops. Wrong guy. Nope. Wrong guy again. That guy. How many points? Don't think we have enough. One more. Mm, you. Alright, we'll rearrange these a little bit. Have a handful of derps come up. Come on. Can I just not just tuck you in this corner? Just kind of want to surround this guy. So the idea is, if they try to AoE these guys, it's going to cause some problems for them. Let's see if we can keep this... And I, yeah, they might be able to get through that corner if they squeeze. Oh wow, my mouse is being stupid. Here we go. There we are. So I gotta keep that guy on that square. Okay. Not that big a problem. Um, can I move these guys a little bit to make them more annoying? I don't know. There's probably ways to destroy that, but we'll have to watch some replays later and see how that goes. Um, now, this room. I want to fill it with derps and uh, a couple of Dr. Skulls at the end. In fact, what we'll do immediately... Oh, wait, are these... yeah, Dr. Skulls. Uh, we need shield -trons. Or Defenditrons. But you there and you there, you are going to be assigned to this. Um, and then we're going to flood this room with derps. We got a few derps. First, we are going to establish a line. Okay, that is one line. Now we're going to establish a second line without touching anything. We're going to have to move some stuff, obviously. Two, three. We need to buy more derps. Nope, not hero trainer. This thing. Man, derps are expensive now. All right. We can also use snotters as well. They don't have to be derps. Uh, and then we're going to move this here. Ooh, stay there. And here. And then we'll surround him with a meat shield. Actually, we can move him up further. I would like eh, another one. Um, in fact, what we could do even is put... Oh, it's tempting. All right, let's let's make this perfect. Um, this first one I know is going to be all one cost guys. So let's finish fleshing this out. In a big line. We can afford some extra room over this way, but we can't make it go any further back. because we're going to need that room for the next row. Eh. And we're going to have to spin all these guys around. Alright, so we got a line. This is actually kind of hilarious. I've never seen this done. That's either because it's a dumb idea or it's just not something someone would think to do. 
probably a dumb idea. We're gonna move this this way. We want to get close to this line. Alright, let's get some more snots. Now, does that actually touch the wall? It doesn't matter, we can just put some more. Actually, it does matter, because I have an idea. Um... We tuck you here. And then another... one of you. And it's one point over. So we're gonna chuck one of you. And then we're gonna put you... here. Let's spin these guys around real quick. Adjust them. Alright, and this whole row is touching. So, the idea is they'll pull all these guys back to here. Then they'll pull all of these guys. Shit hits the fan round one. Uh, oh, but at the same time, I could have two of them. I could fill this up with guys and have another... Hmm, it's so tempting and so iffy. No. This. Okay. Let's fill this up. Uh, where are my snotters? Snotters. I want to get these guys really as close as I can. Because we're gonna need a s Well, we're gonna need another row, essentially or as close to a row as we can get. We're gonna have to move some stuff. Nah, that's actually better to go this way. Eh. Oh, this is gonna be hard. There. No. There, that's as good as I'm gonna get. Um. Actually, you know what I could do? Let's do it like this instead. And move this here. I'm gonna put him. Well, that's as good as that's gonna get. I put you here. Now you can go as far over here as you can, and then we're just gonna do this. Come on. Sometimes it double clicks still. I got my mouse more or less fixed, but... Alright, so this is one big row. And this is a row. Uh, I can probably optimize this a little bit here. We're gonna move some guys over here. We're gonna do the minimal touching thing like we did on the previous one. By doing it this way, it makes things a lot less or a lot more inconspicuous, a lot less dangerous looking. And you are the link. So let's review. That's a thing. That's a thing, which I can now move slightly more. And then I will have another thing here, and another thing right in front of it. Uh, essentially making so you have to pull two Dr. Skulls into this, which will hopefully meet up in one place and not be too hard for the Dr. Skull to find. Uh, testing is going to be needed. Can I put you here? I can. I'll put you over 
here, good. Let's put you there. Okay. Good enough. Now. I want to guarantee a pool, which means I can actually just group these guys together. And then put... a snotter as far up as I can, covering the door, and that'll be fine. How many points do I have? Just enough. Uh, I don't want you close to that guy, I want you to switch around. Set him there, move him back. Set you... Actually, you know what I could do? I can move this guy over this way. Put you here. Make you a tempting target as well. Eh, screw it, that's good enough. Now for the second one. Um... Dr. Skull, here, yeah I don't think this is going to work, just the second one, the first one I think will work fine. The idea is we make them fight roughly 40 things while dampened, that's the idea. I kind of like it, I hope it works. Um. We do sell some points here. Three points, I can throw a healer in there, right? Not that it's going to be super useful, but I can do it. Eh, we'll save the points for now. Uh, because we still have this room and the boss room. We're going to need to upgrade our, uh, monsters. We need more. We still have to figure out traps for this room, too. Uh, we'll do that real quick. What would be some good traps for this room? Haunted gramophones are kind of nice. It's a very small area, but if we put it in the right places, it could be useful. I don't know who would run up through the middle, but... Let's see. Let's talk about making a minefield. I kind of like that idea still. That's just kind of entertaining. Um, loads of mines? And it's right on top of that guy. Can't really do that. Maybe we'll put another thing in the middle. If we can fit it. Why can't I put that there? Am I touching something? Yeah, I'm touching the trap over there. That comes into this room a little. So I kind of have to put it off to the side a little, I guess. Can't put anything in the middle. Nah, we can get more psychological than that. Let's even get rid of this one. As much as I like it. We can definitely still put a trap in this room, though. Another one over in this corner or something. We'll figure something out. Um, okay, we want people to run straight through, if possible. Because they're probably just going to pull everything to the middle here. That's no good. Um, what about a haunted gramophone right here? No, because that'll probably just make them pull back further. Um, although this could be really good for the, um, let's just set that there for a second. Um, this could be good for this fight. You go in here, you got a haunted gramophone on, on you and, uh, a mega mutton coming up behind you. Could be useful. At the same time... What else could we do? Um, 
We want to keep people from fighting here if possible. We want to make we want to force them up into the middle of the area so that the doctor school has less room to travel. Um I'm thinking a fire trap really, one of these. If I put this here, not only will it have a chance to burn anybody who's dumb enough to stay right there. Um it might make somebody panic a little bit. And it might, f well, once they make it into this room, it'll force them to stay up here while fighting. And then if I do stuff like, if I make an intentional safe zone in the center, that could be good too. So if I do something like this, and then something like this, and then I s replicate, damn it. I tried to fix the mouse, I swear. I'll try putting another one here. Another one there. It is not the most effective thing, and it's definitely not the, the prettiest thing, but it will probably force people somewhat down the center, or at least make them not fight on these spots. Because um, I would like this guy to come up right down the middle. Now, it is possible... If we do this wrong, or if we get hit by someone strong, really, this guy will just get killed instantly, and then this whole room will be for naught. It's a big risky trap. But fuck it. I like it. Um, Can I put any more traps in here? Nah. I don't think I'm going to get another one here, but let me just... Nope. Not quite. Yeah, I'm going to be overlapping by a little bit no matter what. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Just want to make sure that this guy is... Yeah, he's touching that doorway pretty well. Man, this is looking a lot different. I'm liking it, though. Um, next we have this room, which I may replace with a different room, I'm not certain yet, and the boss room. And, uh, we'll do that next time.